This video is going to show how to add multiple footprints to a component in ORCAD X Capture. Modern designs often require design variations and multiple board form factors, which may require some components to use different footprints. This lesson will teach you how to assign secondary footprints in ORCAD X Capture for easy selection of varying footprints during the PCB layout. Let's start by placing a component with multiple footprints. If a component has multiple footprints, the available options will be shown in the Component Explorer. Double-click a page in the Project Manager to open the page. Select Place Component from the menu. The Component Explorer tab opens, showing a list of categories from which to search for components. Select Ultra Librarian from the list. If prompted, enter your Cadence and Ultra Librarian credentials. Enter the desired part number into the search panel and press Enter. You can also search by description and keyword. View the results. Select a part to view the component's footprints, as well as its symbol in all possible footprints in the Property tab. In this case, the component has three possible footprints associated with it. For this example, we will place three instances of the chip in the schematic. Right-click the listing and select Place. Click to place the part in an empty space. Right-click and select End Mode, or press Escape on the keyboard when finished. A reference designator is automatically assigned based on the other components in the design. If the reference designator for this part is not automatically assigned, double-click the reference designator to change it. Enter the desired reference designator into the Display Properties window and click OK. Let's place the component in the other assigned places in the schematic. Select the IC and press Ctrl-C on the keyboard to copy. In the Project Manager, navigate to the desired schematic page. Press Ctrl-V on the keyboard to paste. Click to place the part in one of the empty spaces. Press Ctrl-V on the keyboard again and click to place the part in another empty space. Due to the hierarchical design being used, the reference designators may restart from U1. Since this design already has a part with reference designator U1, attempting to sync the schematic in PCB will throw an error. To correct this, Double-click the reference designator for one of the chips to open the Display Properties window. For this example, we will change the reference designator to U6 and U9. Close the Component Explorer tab. Since these components had multiple footprint options in Ultra Librarian, multiple footprints were downloaded when the part was placed. Let's see what footprints are available. Open File Explorer and enter percent %home% percent into the file bar. This will open your home folder. From there, Browse to CDS Setup, ORCAD Capture, Version, Downloaded Parts, Allegra PCB. This folder contains a list of PCB footprints from downloaded parts. Locate the most recently downloaded files. This chip has PW20 as its main PCB footprint, and PW20L and PW20M as secondary footprints. Close File Explorer. Back in ORCAD X Capture, right-click an instance of the newly placed component and select Edit Properties. The Property Editor tab opens. Select New Property to open the Add New Property window. Enter Alt Symbols for the name and PW20M semicolon PW20L for the value. Click OK. Click Apply and close the Property Editor tab. Let's assign the alternate footprints to the other instances next. We'll select ICU6, hold Control on the keyboard, and select U9. Right-click either IC and select Edit Properties to reopen the Properties tab. Select New Property. Enter Alt Symbols for the name and click OK. Right-click the Alternate Symbols row and select Edit. Enter PW20M semicolon PW20L for the value and press Enter. The alternate symbols have been added to the properties. Click Apply and close the Property Editor tab. To use the alternate footprint feature in ORCAD X Presto, the changes need to be synced to the PCB. Select the design file in the project hierarchy. Select File, Save from the menu to save the whole design. Select PCB, Update Layout from the menu. The Update Layout window opens with a list of changes to be made. Click Sync to apply the changes. This will open ORCAD X Presto. Select the appropriate license and click OK. ORCAD X Presto opens, showing a change report. View and close the report. Select File, Save from the menu to save the changes. If prompted to overwrite the design, click Yes. Lastly, let's verify that the alternate footprints were added. 
First, we need to place these components on the board. Right-click the Move mode in the toolbar and select Place. Select Series in the Placement widget to place one component at a time. Select the hyperlink for unplaced components in the Properties panel. The list of unplaced components opens in the Search panel. Select the components from the list. A red rectangle appears in the canvas to indicate the placement boundary. Click to place the chip and press Escape on the keyboard when finished. Select the placed component. In the Properties panel under General, open the Footprint dropdown. The additional footprints have been added. Select either footprint to assign it to the component. Quickly assign alternate footprints to components to efficiently accommodate design variants in ORCAD X Capture. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eva.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.